So welcome to Technodad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a Bevy computer, which is designed to store photos and not designed to do anything else. There's little protections there. And change it so that we can add any operating system to it. And if you like this video, make sure you like. And if you haven't already subscribed, and here we go now. And a special thank you to all my patrons who, without your support, this channel would not be possible. Thank you. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up our bevy. And so instead of opening up on the top or the side like a normal computer is, you open it up from the bottom here. So there's just four screws. And they'll sort of pop out. And then how you get the case out is you pull it out by the screws. And then so our first task is to pull out the wires for the hard drive. Once that's done, we're going to pull out these wires, or take out these screws right here, which hold in this plate, which holds the VGA port on the back. Uh, I don't actually even use the VGA port, so I could actually just leave that out if I wanted, but it leaves a hole. And so those screws are right here on the top. There's two of them. And then there's just uh, one wire holding this together here, so we're going to pull on that. And so we got that piece out. Set that aside. And so if you look at the bevy on the inside, there's sort of space for these to move up, uh, but not on the other side where the VGA port is. And so Basically, what you need to do is, is you think you're going to break it, but you push this direction with this hand or pull this direction and you pull on basically your uh, USB ports here with the other hand. Oh, actually, before we do that, there are two screws to remove and they're on this side. There's one there and one there. If you uh, don't remove the screws, obviously it can't come out. And the next thing you need to do is pull out the wireless card. So there's just one screw for that. Pull that out, and these little antennas just pop off. And so next what we're going to do is pull the motherboard out. And so what I find is useful is put two fingers right here, right next to the center. Push in, and... And it pops right out. So basically, it usually sticks on this little piece right here. Okay, so once that's pulled out, you just turn it over. You can set it on the case. This yellow thing is the battery, and we're just going to follow the red wire over to the white connector. We're going to pull that out. And leave it out for a minute. And at the same time, we're going to pull off this uh, yellow 
bias locking thing. Uh, that's just an extra precaution on my part. So we're going to push that back in. And then actually put that the bias locking pin back on because uh, if you leave this off uh, then it will just come up with a warning. Good. And then we're going to put this back in and so the USB ports, the powered port is on top. We want to make sure the um, wireless wires are pulled out from the side and so first we have to align up the back ports and then do the same thing again sort of pull forward with two fingers and again it gets caught on this one there so Oh, there it's popped back into place very loudly there. Next we have to attach our wireless wires again. And so these just pop on, although it can take me a few minutes to get it. And once the wires are back on, it goes back in its home here, a little slot. And we push that down and attach the screw again. And reattach our VGA port. Actually, before we do that, we will put the screws back in. And so this is an important part. So the screws, you'll, you'll see two screw holes, one that's close to the edge of the case, and then one that's uh, just a half an inch or so in from that. You don't want to go in the one that's closest to the edge of the case. You want to go to the other one. So next we want to attach our VGA port and so we'll be sticking this in now. And so this has a little rubber thing on it which uh, just pushes on top of the, uh, let's see, what is this? the HDMI port. And once that's done, all we have to do is plug in the wires for that. And now it's time to put the hard drive back on. And so the hard drive will go on this side. There is the black port and the vanilla port there. So next what we're going to do is attach the hard drive and so first we'll put on the white uh, adapter and then the black adapter. Once that's done all we have to do is screw the bottom cover on and we're ready to plug it in. Uh, 
Okay, so it's time to plug our bevy in and see what happens. Okay, so we have our bevy all hooked up again, and what we're gonna do is uh, plug in a USB drive, and I forgot what was on this one. Uh, if this one doesn't work, we're gonna be plugging in another one. And so uh, what we have to do in order to access the BIOS is uh, actually now that the uh, BIOS has been reset, we can actually press F2 a number of times and then uh, that will bring us up to the BIOS where we have to make sure uh, USB is enabled so we can boot from a USB drive. And then once we do that, then we have to reboot again and then press F10 where then we can actually boot from the drive and install a different operating system. And I'm hoping this one is gonna be Debian, so we'll have to see. I might switch out somewhere in the middle of the video uh, if it's not. So first thing we're gonna do is reboot the machine. And so during the boot up process, we wanna press F2. And now we're into the Intel Visual BIOS and we just have to make sure that the USB is enabled. And I'll just show you that here very quickly. And then once we click on advance, we wanna to go to boot and then go to boot configuration and then click on USB device first and then boot devices USB. And then once we're done with that, we can just actually click F10 and reboot the machine. And so now we're just gonna reboot our computer. And so sometimes you have to press F10 in order for it to boot from the USB drive. And here you can see it actually booted from the USB drive and we can now install Debian. We can actually install any operating system we want at this point. Uh, I would suggest a lightweight one because this is a lightweight computer. It's a few years old. And if you do get the chance, I look for these on eBay. Uh, I got this one for $24. Uh, last time I looked, they were all sold out. So people after my last video started buying these, but definitely worth it. Maybe you have a friend with, who has one who can do nothing with them because the BIOS is locked, but definitely pick one up. Definitely worth the price. And as always, if you like this video, make sure you like. And if you haven't already subscribed, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.